What can we do for you, Margo? Okay, well, you know, I'm, I want to get a new laptop and I run Linux. Right now I have a MacBook Pro and I dual boot into Xubuntu and the Mac operating system. But for my next laptop, I want to have a single boot into Arch Linux. But I can't decide if I should get a laptop that's designed specifically for a Linux operating system or if uh -huh. I should stick with a MacBook Pro or maybe try something else. Or do you have a dragon tattoo? I'm just asking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think, right that's awesome. Why, you use Linux as, uh, is it your primary operating system or just for fun? Or why do you use Linux? It's my primary operating system. I do a lot of programming. If That's you guys neat. are talking about Mars, well, I'm an intern at JPL, so oh, cool. I've done a lot. Most of my stuff there is programming for one of the projects, actually so cool. an instrument that's going to Mars <gasps> in 2020. So uh, it's just really easy for me to get packages installed using yeah. Linux. Yeah. And when you say a Linux specific laptop, are you thinking something like System76 or one of the other sort of boutique Linux yeah, laptop I've companies? Yeah, I've looked into System76. My only concern is that I wonder in terms of the price tag if I'm paying more kind of because it's a novelty rather than because it's actually a, a system that can compete with some of the better laptops that are out there. It's true. You shouldn't be paying more for a Linux laptop. Right. You're not, you don't have the Windows tax. It should be less, right? Yeah, it was, it's interesting because earlier this year, uh, like April, May, uh, Dell released what they call the XPS theme. XPS 13 Developer Edition, which is essentially that laptop, which I love and covet, and if Leo leaves it laying around, I'll it's steal It's a great laptop. It's vile that way. And they actually have it preloaded. I'm pretty sure they're running Ubuntu. They but are. It's if an they Ubuntu. have all In of fact, the I have the original, uh, last year's version of that. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing, it's a Dell XPS 13 with Ubuntu on it. The negative is it still has a Windows key, which I'm not sure what that's supposed to do in Ubuntu. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> it really annoys me to see that Windows key. That might be one I argument. Don't use Windows. Yeah, it might yeah. be one argument to not get uh, you know a Windows laptop. But it also, I didn't. It's no laptop. cheaper. It is. It's a great laptop. Yeah. Um, you know, I like the bezel uh, bezelless design. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, um, and and Dell, by the way, does kind of make sure that the drivers right. all work, the camera works, and everything works. That's. I mean, that's kind of the place you get into. You know. If you buy a fancy new notebook, are you going to be able to get all of the packages you need for the drivers to do all of the stuff is, inside is of Is Arch laptop? Linux like a NASA Linux? Is that the Linux they recommend? Is there a reason you use Arch? Oh, I like Arch just because you can build it up from scratch right. on your own. And, you know, you install everything you want and you mm -hmm. ignore everything you don't want, basically. Yeah. Yeah, so. it's kind of Gen Gentoo was like that as well. They're a good package manager, and you just build up the things. So you basically, need. we're talking to a super user that knows more about Linux than both of us put yeah. together. <laughs> well, it, I, you know, there's no reason why this wouldn't work. As you know, the issue is drivers. So right. there's, yeah, a, you know, there's a trackpad driver, and it's got Arch has to have that available. There's, uh, you know, keyboard driver. There's motherboard drivers. Camera, you probably don't care about. Uh, sound, you may or may not care right. about. Uh, but that's the you issue probably always. Probably care about sound. So there's a great site. I, you know, I do listen sign. to music. Yeah, all right. Well, you probably do want sound to work. <laughs> this is a site I've I've long uh, recommended uh, called Linux on Laptops. There's dashes yeah. between the three words, oh, nice. and they go by manufacturer, and then they talk about which Linux would work, you know, best on it. What the mm -hmm. driver. Si this is most important. What the driver situation is. You want a site where people are continue that it's active and people are continuing to post stuff about and you can see this goes back quite a way to the g4 uh <laughs> i don't know how up to date this site is but i would yeah yeah it looks like they've got the latest yeah. uh, macbooks there too so i would take a look at that and you'll see what they they say for this distro for this hardware uh which drivers you need which drivers work which drivers don't work um have you run uh, are you running arch and dual boot right now on your macintosh no i have it on another computer at the office or at the lab but right now I'm actually on the OS X side doing this because in general the iSight camera doesn't work too well right. yeah, with Linux, it. doesn't play too friendly. So right. if I want to Skype and look nice, I have to do it on the Mac side. That's what you're using right now? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it does look good. It's a really good picture. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's funny, like, if you if you dig around in, in uh, Lenovo's support site, they'll give you an idea. It's funny, like, again, going back to laptops I forgot even existed, um, you know, and it's, it, they tend to concentrate on Red Hat and a lot of Ubuntu support on theirs, but you'll see it. Um, I think part of it's, you know, the, the advantage, I don't think you're paying a lot more if you're going to System76 or something like that. You are going with a smaller company, so they're buying fewer laptops, so they get fewer mm -hmm. deals, uh, you know, because they're not buying all of the laptops the way uh, Dell or So that might be why it costs a little bit more. Um, huh? 
The flip side, if you can take a look at something like the XPS 13 or one of the Lenovo laptops, if any of their laptops appeal to you, you can take mm -hmm. a look and see whether or not you can get the packages available for that that you need to get the driver support for everything. That's what Cory Doctorow does. He buys yeah. Lenovo, he buys ThinkPads. I wonder if he still does in the in light of the latest revelations about how Lenovo's screwing with people. <laughs> but uh, Lenovo laptops then puts Linux, you know, blasts Windows off. He doesn't right. want any bit of Windows on there and puts Linux on them. Uh, you know, the other thing about Arch, since it's well supported, is, and you know that's the distro you want to use. I was just Googling mm -hmm. Arch on laptops and I see a lot of posts. You know, here's Arch Linux on a Vio laptop, mm -hmm. uh, sound quality issues. This is, you know, this is where Linux really benefits from a, a user base that's right. devoted and smart and can write their own drivers. And so what I would do is I would probably look at which laptops people are having the best experience with in terms of drivers and uh, go with that one. I mean, you already have a Mac. I would start yeah. with the Mac and see how it works, you know? You're saying the eyesight's the big issue? Yeah, I mean, it's not a huge issue because I don't really use it, right. except for when I come on your awesome show. But <laughs> what, are you writing in Python for NASA? What language does NASA use for this stuff? Oh, we use a lot of languages. We use MATLAB, we use MATLAB. LabVIEW, Python, all the web dev stuff. I do a lot of web dev right now because I'm building out a database for the lab, but I've also coded in Python. We have another intern who's doing Python in our group as well. So, And our instruments are controlled with LabVIEW, so we just, we're just we all over the place. We How use fun. anything, basically. What did you study in college? Oh, well, actually... I have a master's in ethnomusicology. Of course, because that makes the best programmers. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I, I have a lit degree. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese <Yeah>. studies, <laughs> no degree. <laughs> You know, we just had a Lisp programmer, a guy who worked for Instrument Systems and was writing uh, Lisp uh, Artificial Intelligence for American Express for many years. I said, how'd you get into that? He said, well, I was a music composition major in college and was a <laughs> professional composer teaching composition, but the, drop, the jobs kind of dried out, so I thought, well, Lisp, why not? <laughs> I think there's definitely a nexus between musicians and programmers. There's just something about that. Almost all the programmers I know are at least, you know, right. competent amateur musicians. I, mag magicians, too. Musicians. <laughs> we, do, we do magic all the time. Slight yeah. little sleight of hand. Hey, it's really nice uh, to meet you, Margo. Um, please stay in touch. Let us know what you're doing at JPL. I think that's exciting. Yeah, if you want a tour, just let me know. I'm actually going to be moving up to Santa Cruz because I'm going to be doing a Ph.D. in robotics. Oh, so cool. uh, I'm hoping to come by to your studio and actually sit in on one of these. That would be awesome. I really, I've been fun. watching a show since I was like 13 and on ZDTV, so it's it's really great to to experience it live. Yeah, Patrick and I are really old. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> No, that's awesome. It's very nice to meet you, Margo. You know, that's one of the things, if you're a Linux person, part of the thrill and the fun of it is you, you gotta often have to roll it yourself. Your blanket, your I sack felt, of cookies, uh, yeah, your I bottle of tequila. I felt guilty buying a Dell laptop with Linux already installed. It's like, well, if I were a real Linux user, I'd figure it out on my own. So. <laughs> <laughs>